Enhance your experience by becoming a supporting member. Gain access to unseen videos and video requests. Three day free trial by visiting zionmembership.com. Chosen ones, empaths. The narcissists involved in your life and narcissists around the globe purposely deny you closure. And the main reason why they do this is to keep you hanging on, you see. They want to keep you in the state of mind where you think there's a possibility or an opportunity of you being able to reconcile. This is purposely why they deny you the closure. They want to leave you in a state of mind where you possibly think there is a future with you and the narcissist that was involved in your life. And this is the main reason why they leave you hanging on, deny you closure, to keep you hanging on, to keep you thinking if but maybe, you know, you'll be able to sort things out. So you could have been on the receiving end of a discard or a reverse discard out of the blue. It was a total shock to your system, you know, and possibly they're giving you silent treatment. You know, they're ignoring you. They're not wanting to communicate. But through this lack of closure and them denying you the lack of closure, in your heart, mind and soul, all you want to do is sort it out. Now, nothing's changed there, right? You've remained the state, the same. You've remained constant. Throughout the relationship with this narcissist involved in your life, you used to fix things, you know? And the narcissist that was involved in your life Checked your temperament throughout the whole duration of the time that you were together with them to realize that you're a problem solver and you've got the savior empath streak and you're someone that likes to fix things, right? So they knew, they knew if they discard you in a brutal possible way or reverse discard you in a brutal possible way that you're going to be unsure of yourself, you're going to be unsure of where you stand in terms of the relationship and you're also going to want to try and fix things they knew this about you they knew this about you right but what you've got to understand is you're dealing with someone that is purposely inflicting the denial of closure onto you this is why you might feel like you're in the fog you might feel lost right? You see, deep in the core of your heart's deepest desires, maybe you just want to sort things out, right? This video won't apply to everyone, right? Because a lot of you are the ones that cut the narcissist off that was involved in your life. Um, A lot of you want nothing more to do with them, But I believe there is maybe a percentage of people out there, victims of narcissistic abuse, especially during the early phases. And early phases can go on to a year onwards. It doesn't have to just mean a couple of weeks or a couple of months. If you're left in the fog, if you've been denied closure, you never really understand the reason why the relationship ended. Now, this is the poison that the narcissist involved in your life inflicted in you. They knew, right, if they discard you or reverse discard you and leave you with no closure, you're going to start tearing yourself apart. You're going to start blaming yourself. And that's something that you cannot, cannot do. Please press the like and the subscribe button. Help you, brother. Right, it'll take two seconds of your time. Thank you. But what I mean by blaming yourself is you, intern- you, you, you focus internally and externally even about yourself and you pick out maybe things in your character or things in your appearance. It could be anything. And just for the, just for the benefit of the video... This doesn't have to just be romantic relationships. This could be friendships, family members, colleagues or associates. But all the remain is the same. Narcissists that are involved in your life and narcissists around the globe like to inflict the denial of closure. Okay? 
Now, you're, you may be looking at yourself and the way you handled things, you know, the way you look, and you could be picking out problems with yourself or picking out issues and be basing the reason why you were discarded or reverse discarded because of this given reason. Now, look. You're making a dreadful, dreadful mistake if you are doing that. You are making a dreadful, dreadful mistake. It's nothing to do with how you look. It's nothing to do with how your character is, right? It's nothing to do with your financial status, right? What else could it possibly be? Um... It's nothing to do with what you've done to the narcissist that was involved in your life, right? You've got to understand that discards and reverse discards occur. One of the main reasons why they occur is because of when the fuel supply starts to dwindle. Now, do not blame yourself. I'm not saying this so you blame yourself and you start thinking that you've done something wrong. A narcissist is an, a, a real oppressive force to be around. And they, they're constantly draining you, right? They're constantly, constantly draining you of supply. So your supply starts to dwindle, right? This is one possibility that it could be. Your supply starts to dwindle. And the narcissist involved in your life thinks there's better opportunities on greener pastures because they suffer with the grass is greener syndrome or the shiny object syndrome, and they see other opportunities, and they think these are better suited for their life, right? That's one reason. You can watch many videos how I discuss how they make a dreadful mistake, how they later go through a self-absorbed regret, when they move on to these so-called greener pastures, they get over there, it's astroturf, you're a precious stone, they get over there, the shiny object that they saw, and the shiny object is a piece of aluminium foil, right? A scrappy bit of metal or something like that. And they only realize that after they made the decision to reverse discard you or discard you. That's one option that it could be that your supply started to dwindle, right? And that is going to happen to the best of empaths, right? And I'm not categorizing empaths, but I'm saying if you had a potent supply source, it doesn't matter how potent your supply source is, it gets drained, it gets dwindled by having an oppressive narcissist involved in your life, right? Another reason why the discard or the reverse discard has occurred, which is it happens without you really even knowing it, right? And I've mentioned this before in videos, is that you woke up to the narcissist that was involved in your life. There was a change in you. Right, and the narcissist involved in your life saw this, so they may have gaslit you on a on a, on an occasion, right, on another day, just like they usually do, gaslighting you or lying to you. They done something to you, and it didn't sit right with your spirit, and they saw that you woke up. And then when the narcissist sees that you wake up, they move the goalpost, right? They beat you to the crunch. They realize that possibly you might have um, cut them off. So they, they get fearful and they jump to a discard or reverse discard and then they go to a new supply. So that's, the, that's some of the reasons why this may have occurred, right? You may have woke up, right? You may have woke up, but you have to understand what I said about the supply running low. That's another, that's another reason. So what you've got to understand is this is nothing to do with you. This is to do with the flaws in the narcissist that was involved in your life, right? And <clears throat> what you need to understand is they have purposely denied you the closure, denied you a proper sit-down talk, like adults, over a cup of coffee or a cup of tea, talking things through and saying, you know, making a, making a decision between yourselves about it's better you go separate ways. And that would give you the closure that you needed. You'd be able, you might be a bit hurt, but you'd be able to move on with your life in a better fashion. 
So you need to understand that fundamentally, this narcissist that was involved in your life has deliberately denied you closure for a horrible reason to keep you stuck, to keep you stagnating, right? <clears throat> and hopefully this video helps you understand what has actually happened to you, right? You may still be in the fog, you may still be lost, right? But it's a, it's a purposely inflicted denial of closure from this narcissist that was involved in your life to prevent you from rising, to prevent you from healing, to prevent you from going on in your life, right? They don't want you to. They want you to stay stuck, right? So now you know this information, right? You don't need to feel stuck no longer. You don't need to feel stuck. You don't need to stagnate. You need to realize that this narcissist that was involved in your life was no good for you, right? They looked at you as a supply source. They didn't look at you as a romantic partner or a friend or a family member or a colleague or an associate. They looked at you as a supply source. That's what they viewed you as. Yes, it's possible your supply started to dwindle because even the most potent forms of supply start to dwindle. And they may have got wide-eyed and seen shiny objects and grass is greener over elsewhere and they get over there and they realize it's not as great as you that's going to occur that could possibly that is going to occur right um but it's nothing to do with how you look it's nothing to do with your character it's nothing to do with how you treated them it's nothing to do with that right this person, this narcissist that is involved in your life is horrible. It's a very mean, horrible thing to inflict silent treatment, clo uh, lack of closure onto their chosen target. Because ultimately, while they move forward with their lives, right? Going from dusty to a new dusty supply, even though they know it's a dreadful mistake. Um, they don't want you moving forward with your life. And when I mean move forward with your life... It doesn't just have to mean moving forward with your life with uh, a new bunch of friends or a new family uh, or building your own family or a new romantic partner or new colleagues or associates. What I mean by moving forward with your life is moving forward with your life and healing. They don't want you to do that. OK, and they certainly don't want you to start affiliating with other people either. Right. This narcissist that was involved in your life. So. Look, just now you know the answers. Don't despair, you know. When someone walks out of your life or cuts you out of the life, it's their loss, not yours. This narcissist that has involved in your life, it's their loss losing you. And they're sure as hell going to know it, right? When they run into these dusty supplies. Because that's what's out there, right? They're going to run into other narcissists. They're going to run into other toxic individuals. And they're going to probably try and hoover you at some point. So from now until the time when the hoover arises, you need to heal. You need to build your strength. Make sure that you never get pulled back into the narcissistic dynamics with this narcissist that was involved in your life. Make sure you heal. Focus on the wounds that are inflicted. And you're the one who's ultimately going to bring closure to yourself. It's you that's going to find the closure from searching within, from introspecting, from healing, that's how your closure is going to come. Don't expect the closure to come from this parasite that was once involved in your life, the narcissist. Don't expect the closure to come from the narcissist that was once involved in your life. It's you that's going to bring the closure to yourself. So anyway, thank you for watching today. Please press the like and the subscribe button. If you'd like to donate to the channel, you can find the link in the description box. And if you'd like a one-to-one -one session myself, you can also find the link in the description box. Currently, I've got the secondary channel, the spiritual channel. Enhance your experience by becoming a supporting member, getting access to unseen videos and video requests, three-day free trial by visiting zionmembership.com. So anyway, I'll be back with another video soon. Peace.